six knots. That's awesome. Yes, I'll be there in two minutes. <laughs> Woo. Sorry, that was fun. Uh You can have a nap. Quiet on set, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're back. Or we're here, depending on whether you've just come from the walkthrough video or tuning in right now for the test drive. Uh, I'm Dan Jones, this is Dan's Boat Life, and I'm here with Libby today. Good morning. Welcome. Um, yes, we're gonna enjoy the Lomac together and see what we discover. Um, okay, so this is the 8.5 GT. GT for Gran Turismo. I think that's, I said that with my best Italian accent. And um, this boat, she's just under two tonnes, weight, light ship mode, add the weight of the motors, probably a couple hundred kilograms each, and then 400 litres of fuel. We've got half a tank of fuel on board. So we're probably pushing three tonne a boat, three people on board, a little bit of gear. Um, and this one's been fitted uh, with the twin 200 horsepowers, we're running Suzuki's. Uh, you could run any motor you want. Um, in the current market, you just take whatever motor you can get because motors are hot property. Um, but it is, um, it's recommended with a single 350. I reckon that's a bit more of a European vibe because here in Australia, we like our horsepower and you do get a little bit more maneuverability um, with the twin engines. So just quickly before we get going, um, we've got bow thruster operation here i've got a, a little phone charging here twin displays giving me my engine readout so i've got revs i've got speed over ground fuel and some other information just feeding out there i've got electronic start stop here i've got a chart plotter here boat systems throttle which is on an angled base just here so the helm position on this gt is quite comfortable um, i'm standing at the moment the wheel is a fixed wheel. This is a hydraulic, feels like a power assisted wheel, but I don't see why you'd want to angle that up because it makes more sense to drive it like that. So that feels good. And then if you're, if I was transitioning to a seating position. <laughs> Hello kids. We're trying to film a video, can't you see? We're on YouTube. <laughs> They're probably on TikTok. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so, so, I don't know if you... Does this feel... I think you'd need longer arms than me to... <laughs> So I think this is for I this is for the big, tall, handsome Italian or Greek dudes. I have to stand in a box to drive this, so I <laughs> have nothing to add. So I don't know if that's doable. <laughs> I I don't. So I personally don't feel like this is a boat that I would sit down and drive though. Like this just doesn't feel natural to me. I don't know. That makes more sense because um, this is going to be a bit of go fast, fun active style of driving, I, I personally would want to be standing. And then really doesn't matter what height you are. If you've got a bit of a beer belly, you're still going to fit in behind here because <laughs> you can, you can got about that much space for your belly. So if Let's you're, face it, you if know. you're above five foot eight, this is right. the boat for you. It's okay to have a belly. <laughs> this is the kind of boat you'd enjoy some sunshine and cold beers on. So <laughs> I don't mind a little bit of a beer belly. Um, and then how do you feel from a safety perspective? You've got a bit of lower back. Yeah. sort of support there and something to grab onto. Okay, so what I'll do, I'm going to get the boat going. Um, I'll talk to you guys about what I experienced. Libby, just tell me if I'm going too fast <laughs> or if I'm doing something scary. I've already lost my hat. <laughs> right. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, now, I do have a, um, a, a safety strop here um, for an engine cutoff. This is something you would use on a boat like this, if, particularly if you didn't know what you were doing. Um, I'm not going to use it because I feel like I know what I'm doing, but um, it is there. And this is a style of boat being an open boat, low sides that you may choose to connect that on and um, cut the motors if you go for a swim. Um, so yeah, let's get the thing moving. 2,400 revs, uh, sitting on 10 knots there. This isn't really a boat that you just plane around at slow speeds, you just get it up and moving. So I think we'll do that. I've got engine trim all the way down and I'm just gonna get the boat moving. Immediately I can feel it's very responsive and I hope you guys can hear us. I got the fluffy thing on the microphone, so that's, that's designed to hopefully cut out some of this wind noise, but we'll do our best today. Um, I'm just sitting on 3,000 revs there. That's giving me a comfortable 20 knots cruising speed. I've got no bow raise on acceleration at that speed. I've got the engine trim all the way down. And this 
This is what it's all about. This, you know, I've had a, a dream or a desire this summer to be like those Greek or Italian heavily tan <laughs> dudes, just cruising around in my speedos. Italian. Italian. We're an Italian. Okay, Italian we're an boat. Italian boat. But this is what I'm visualising. I feel like I could do it on this boat. I could be that dude in my speedos, shirt open, just having a coffee. Do you have your speedos on? Yeah, oh, well, I've got my speedos out. I wasn't sure tape? I was going to have a swim later on. <laughs> having a coffee, getting a cross on. That's the way to do it. Um, so yeah, back to the drive. 20 knots, 3,000 revs. We are in Sydney Harbour at the moment. We just have a little bit of um, a little bit of power boat uh, waves rolling around the place and a southeasterly breeze. So that southeasterly breeze is probably averaging about 15 knots and it is blowing a little bit of swell through the heads, which we're about to expose ourselves through, uh, or take ourselves through, I should say, and we'll see how the boat behaves. But just now at this 20 knot speed, this is comfortable, this is not frightening, and this is very leisurely. Would you agree? It's very leisurely. Like, yeah. like so it's, not, it's not giving me... This the, is cruise mode. Yeah. It's not sports mode yet. Well, you know how some boats at some <laughs> speeds, it does feel yeah. like, oh, I should hang on, is this... It's got a lot of grip, yeah. so it feels stable. Like, I don't know exactly what the dead rise is on this boat. I'm, it looks like about 20 degrees-ish, but it's... it's Maybe more. It's carrying its V all the way to the back of the boat and it's got quite a nice amount of V and it's the tubes are raised at the bow so when we hit the waves there's at the moment there's no contact with the tubes you can just feel that hull doing its thing so I'm just going to wind the speed up a little bit now that we're um, crossing the harbour we're all clear of traffic so that's 3,700 revs I'm going to give Whoa, she really picks up there. So we're just straight away doing 27 knots, 26, 27 knots there. And I'm just giving the engines a little trim up and that's given us another knot in speed. So this feels like your cruise speed. This feels like the cruise speed. So we still, we'd have no bow raise, um, to speak of, so I've really got no loss of visibility. This little windscreen uh, gives you a little bit of protection, not much. It's it's really more about the look of the boat, I think. I suppose you could duck down if you had cold air in your face and you didn't want to get crying eyes. That's about it. This is more of a feel the air, feel the experience kind of boat. So here we go, we're gonna go into, well, I'm, I'm exiting the harbour and we're about to expose ourselves to some ocean swell. I'm not going to increase over that 27 knot speed range just yet. And I've got some flashing lights on a boat up ahead, so I just got to make sure I don't get mixed up in whatever's going on over there. That looks like the police or waterways. So I'll wind the speed down. I came in at 28 knots and we'll just go to 24. And now I'm just going to trim the engines down. We don't have trim tabs on this boat because it's got the tubes give you all the stabilisation and I've got one guy on a kayak I'm gonna go that way there we go he's got the police boat <laughs> yep there we go okay so now we're into the ocean swell I got a couple of surf waves rolling around the point here and <laughs> copped one in my face but that was my fault I was trying to avoid the rescue boat because they are just there and Doing that, doing that at a moderate speed of about 17 knots. Let's actually go into those waves. We've just finished the drone shoot and the wind has picked up moderately. And I'm in a little surf zone just here, so I'll actually slow it down. <laughs> and now let's go across the waves. So I'm not exactly following the same track that we had on the drone because of that police boat, but that's okay. Because of these low sides, I think any rib like this, if you really belted it across, what we have here is probably about a metre to a metre and a half of rolling surf, or rolling ocean swell and some surf break just there. You'd probably get a bit of spray over the side, so I'm just avoiding that by backing off the pace. Thanks. And <laughs> now I'm going to drive down the waves. So I'm, I've got a 
couple of degrees of engine trim up. I'm doing that at 18 knots. And we really do have some nice waves here to test this hull out. And I, I, I guess what I'm experiencing at the moment is plenty of power to get yourself up and over a wave. You know, the power to weight ratio on this thing is awesome. And because that front tube is raised somewhat, you really could belt this thing across the waves, which I'm not gonna do right now because <laughs> Libby's got a dry shirt off. <laughs> let's just, let's not scare everyone. Because these boats are all about being social. It's about taking your friends out. And I think you just want to, as much as we love to belt them around and have a good time, if you do that off the bat with all your friends who aren't used to or interested or knowledgeable about boating, you're probably just gonna scare the pants off them and um, they won't come out with you again. So, you know, just be just be a little bit sensible. We're just cruising along there at 21 knots. I haven't changed the engine trim. And you can probably, hopefully this is coming up in the camera, we're going up and down a couple of meters here through some of these waves. This is comfortable. You know, I could actually just, could how do you down. feel? <laughs> yeah, I know, I still wouldn't sit down. I, I like this standing <laughs> position. My, my visibility yeah. is, is excellent. You know, we've got kayakers, we've got boats. Um, it's a Saturday morning, there's people out enjoying their day. And I feel like I'm in good control. As we go down these waves, I can see the hull parting. It's sending the wash out to the side there. So I think if we really were gunning this thing across uh, rough conditions, we would chuck a little bit of water into the back of the boat. So, but the, the benefit of a fast boat is that you just belt it to the calm conditions. So just go to the leeward side and get out of the wind and you'll stay dry. Okay, I think it's time to go around the corner here and open up the throttles a little bit. It's just, I'm just trying some different angles over these waves. Here's a nice one, we'll drive up the back of that. Oh yeah, it feels cool. This feels so cool. Yeah, so anywhere in that 21 to 27 knot speed range, going down swell, the boat's very comfortable. I've got a Sunseeker 60 just kicking off some steep waves to my starboard side. So I'm gonna go into them, I'm gonna, oh, that's really big. So I'm gonna <laughs> slow right down for that because I don't wanna launch the boat. Boom, boom. And that's fine. <laughs> I'm sure we could go faster, but these aren't my boats. I don't really want to go getting airborne on someone else's boat. Um, so that's fine. We didn't get any waves over the bow. That was safe. Um, as I was saying, 21 to 27 knots, down swell, uh, down waves, across the waves or into it. If you're going into it, you're really going to do, if it's rough, 18 knots, I reckon. Um, and in the flat stuff, let's see. <laughs> Okay, we're building 27, 28, 29, 31 knots, 4,900 revs, give it a little bit of trim here, 5,100, give it more trim, 5,200, I'm not even at wide open. Here we go, wide open now, I'm just going in a straight line, 43 knots and climbing, 45 knots, she moves. Oh yeah, 46 knots, that's awesome. Yes, I'll be there in two minutes. <laughs> Woo. Sorry, that was fun. Uh, okay, so let's, She's got plenty of get up and go. And let's just do a couple of sensible turns. A little bit of power boat wash here. That's moderate, choppity chop, fine, dry. I feel good there. And we'll just do some gradual turns. Wow, this thing's got some pace. A couple of 200s. So, so power to weight ratio is excellent. Visibility is unbeatable. I mean, on a boat like this, you would expect that. So, you know, if you were doing water sports, if you were doing tender operation to your big boat, this is gonna work really well because you can see all points. Obviously, it's a rib. You don't have anything to damage the other boat on going through those waves. Da -da 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 -da. Um, 
transiting between the shore and the big boat. Well, you can do that pretty quickly. And, oh yeah. Oh, I think, I think we've found the boat's sweet spot. Like water toys. Yeah. Adventure, like, go to the mothership, get out all your toys, have a few sherbets and go and have fun. <laughs> like, sherbets? <laughs> What champagne. Oh. <laughs> no one calls them that in Australia. Oh, okay. <laughs> Except for damn boy. I think, did I just make that up for myself? <laughs> I don't know, I'm from New Zealand. <laughs> oh, okay. Sherbet's <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. alright. <laughs> Yeah, I'm enjoying this. this. This is a boat, you know when you just want to relax from the week and you just want to get out there and do something fun that puts a smile on your face and might be a little bit ridiculous, maybe, you know, could be perceived as a little bit impractical like your classic sports car that you got in the garage. Um, this is a combination of that. It's got some practical elements, um, for many functions. It's got some impractical elements. You would get wet if you took it in the ocean, you drove across waves. But it's just a hell of a lot of fun. It's absolutely gorgeous from every angle. I mean, I've just been looking at it on the drone. And so I think if that's you, oh, let's race this Chris Um I think if that's you, yep, see you later. No, nah, you can't even catch me. <laughs> no, nah, no chance. See ya. Um, if that's you, if you just want to come out and do things like this and play with other boats like that, I reckon this Lomac 8.5 GT should be on your shortlist. Anyway, if you want to have a walk through, follow the link somewhere in the screen. We're going to do that after this now. I'm Dan Jones. This has been Libby, Stan's Boat Life. See you on the next one. <laughs> <laughs>